Hey everybody, my name, is, my name is Dalton. Today's video is about how to paddleboard. Yes, paddleboarding is one of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing water sport in the world. It's really fun, and I personally, I love to do it. It's a great uh, alternative to surfing when the waves are small and the wind is calm. And it's a great workout, it's fun, anyone can do it. And yeah, it's just a great sport. I actually did a product review about peak inflatable paddle boards. That's actually in the description below, so you guys can check that out. But uh, yeah, this is just a guide how to paddle board. So I see people doing kind of like crazy stuff when they're first starting out. Things like having bad form, just being hunched over, not having the board in the right direction. So case in point, you always want to make sure the nose of the board is here. So this is the nose. It's a little bit rounder. It can have a handle at times. You always want to make sure the nose is in front and the back part where the fin is or the nose, it's in back. So what I agree is you always want that behind you. I've seen people, believe it or not, have it the opposite way around. Kind of tough to paddle board. <laughs> so that's um, the first main tip with paddle boarding. And uh, also when you paddle board, you want to make sure that when you're setting up, you want your hand on top right here. You never want it like this. You want your hand on top. You want to make sure that it's about the handle. It's a little bit more than your head. I'm going to push it down some more. Right here. Make sure your hand's on top. It's a little bit of your head. Always want to make sure this groove part right here, it's going behind you. You never want it opposite. It makes it kind of tough to paddle. So a good paddle stroke right here. I want to make sure that your knees are bent, your eyes are looking forward, your hands on top, and you reach out. Also, by having your top arm straight, notice how my top arm is straight, you have more leverage. You can use your whole body. Paddleboarding is a great ab workout, so you can use your abs and your whole entire body, not just your forearm to paddle. So that's a good stroke right there. Good stroke. Switch hands. That's a proper paddleboard stroke. So I'm going to actually go on the water later in this video, kind of demonstrate just a little paddle. Go out here, kind of show you guys like how to turn, just, just the fundamentals. And uh, another thing that's important too, unlike surfing other board sports, you do sideward stance. So when you're surfing, you always want to be on the side so you can turn, same with snowboarding, skateboarding, anything like that. Paddleboarding, that is a no-no. You always want to make sure that you are parallel, like you are skiing. That's the way I think about it. You want me to make sure your feet are parallel, the knees are bent, butts a little out. And yeah, that's, uh, that's a good stance. So how to get up, up on the paddleboard? It might seem intimidating. Believe me, it's not. I've seen guys with big paunch bellies into their 60s paddleboard, have fun, and it's not that hard. So basically, when you're learning how to paddleboard, you want to make sure that you have the nose forward. You start off on your knees right here. Start off on those knees. Your hands are here. So your hands are right there, kind of like uh, like a table almost. So your your two legs are the hands, and then you're on your knees. Kind of have your weight looking forward. You're looking forward, and then you just jump. So it's almost like a burpee. In fact, if you want to practice surfing and how to get up on paddleboard, I highly recommend burpees. Burpees and push-ups are a great are a great way to uh, cross train for this sport, surfing, and a lot of other activities. So I'll demonstrate that one more time. All right. So, So my hands are here, kind of by the handle, looking forward, jump up, knees are ready to go, looking forward, bustle out, and yeah, good power stance. So when you're power boarding, steering, if you guys have ever been kayaking, it's the same thing. So basically, if you want to go left, you paddle on your right. So you want to go left, you paddle on the right. Now conversely, if you want to go right, you paddle on the left. So that's kind of basic steering. If you want to go backwards, you just push backwards. One little trick that helps the board turn really quick. If you push backwards on one side, like if you push backwards going right, the nose will turn to the right. So that's a pretty cool thing too. And then also, if you do the same thing on the left, push backwards really hard, not normal paddle, but if you push backwards away from you, the board will turn on a dime to the left. So that's a good way to kind of like stop if you need to turn really quickly. Recommend that uh, that method. Another method you can use too is reach the paddle really far out. So bend down, reach the paddle. 
paddle really far out, that gives you more reach. So with that, it kind of helps you turn the opposite direction easier. So like I said, if you're pushing forward, paddling going forward, and if you reach out to the right, you'll turn left easier. Conversely, it's the same thing. If you reach forward, push out, you can uh, paddle on your left side, that'll turn you to the right. Again, this is when you're pushing behind you, okay? And another thing that's kind of cool too, if you want to stop, and I actually learned this uh, down at the aquatic center in San Diego where I used to work, I did a paddleboard yoga class. That's a great way to enjoy paddleboarding, by the way. Paddleboard yoga. I highly recommend you try it. I'm actually going to put Mission Bay Aquatics, uh, Mission Bay Aquatic Center, uh, the description, the link, to a paddleboard yoga class. I've tried it. It's pretty fun. And like I said, I did uh, work there. I taught surfing for about two years there on the side. It was the best job I've ever had. <laughs> So another thing I learned in that class, if you want to stop on a dime like quicker, if you put the paddle right next to the board. So if you're uh, on the board right here, if you're on the board, you want to stop quick, just put it right to the side. It'll help you stop very, uh, very rapidly. And then also another thing that's kind of cool too is paddle boring. It's, uh, it's not an easy sport. I mean, it's easy to learn but it's a good workout and your legs are gonna get sore. You're gonna get sore from standing and naturally you're gonna wanna go on your knees or just kinda of do Indian style sitting on the board. It's perfectly fine, I do all the time. It's a good way to kinda of conserve strength and it's, it's a good way to go. So basically, a really cool uh, stretch you can do when uh, your legs are tired, you can go on the board. You have your knees on the board you, uh, I'm actually gonna turn the camera down so you guys can see. There we go. Much better. So when you're on the board, you're on your knees, your knees are right by the handle, hand handles in between. You're kind of sore, so basically what you want to do, we'll make sure your feet are kind of flexed up. See how the feet are flexed up? And you want to kind of sit down on your heels. So that uh, stretch right there really helps your heels, the bottom of your feet and it's a good way to good way to kind of uh, rejuvenate your muscles so I'm gonna do some paddling right out in the bay just so you guys can demonstrate so I can demonstrate see my form
I am back. So as you guys could tell, I had a pretty good form to show you kind of an example how I got on uh, the paddle board, so off my knees first, kind of like that table uh, position. You want to make sure that you have good form, you want to put your hand on top, you use your whole body. Kind of showed you how I turn, if you want to go left, pound the right, if you want to go right, pound the left. And if you want to turn on a dime quicker, you push forward in the direction you want to go, push forward, and that's it. That's kind of like uh, Power Boy 101 in a nutshell. All right, guys. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Really, thank you for watching. Please uh, take these tips, enjoy the water, have fun, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and even buy uh, the Peak Power Board through my link. Thanks, and have a great day.